object-oriented concepts which we are going to discuss in this class could be used in any programming language that supports object-oriented programming features. However, uh, C and C++ environment lets us explore most critical object-oriented properties of programming language in a greater detail. Before we get st started with our first presentation, I'd like to show you how to create a C++ project using Microsoft Visual Studio. So we already have uh, decided that uh, we're going to maintain a certain directory path like this or similar, where we're going to keep uh, doing our work this semester. So this will be the base path that I will use for my projects. Each project will occupy its own sub subfolder in this area. So in Visual Studio, I click File, New Project. And you see that it's giving me a dialog box. If you have installed different uh, programming language environments on your uh, computer within Visual Studio, you may want to narrow down this list to just perhaps uh, C++, Windows, and then you should be able to locate um, an, an item that says empty project, uh, C++ Windows console type of application. If you try choosing other types of uh, projects on this list, you may not be able to properly compile it because um, we will we may be lacking certain features uh, that uh, such project would require you to provide. Uh, we're going to focus mostly on uh, completely portable, uh, platform-independent uh, subset of uh, the language uh, that uh, is not going to require any uh, proprietary features that other types of projects may uh, be uh, requiring you to bring uh, to your compile program. So uh, you need to select an empty project, which is C++, Windows, and Console. If you're getting strange errors while building your first program, um, it could be a possibility that you have not chosen the correct project type. So I select this and I click Next. So now, like I said, uh, I already decided where I'm going to keep uh, my, my work. And so this will be the base path that I use from here. I can just copy it and paste it to the location of the project. This is a project uh, name, and it will correspond to a subfolder, which Visual Studio will automatically uh, create for you. So, for example, uh, I'm going to just use a name such as week one uh, for my first project. And make sure that you check mark this um, option to place a solution and project in the same directory. Um, the thing is that within Microsoft Visual Studio, uh, they support a combination of multiple projects under one solution. For us, solution and project really mean the same thing. That is why we're going to keep this option checked, uh, so that uh, basically we have a simple as possible directory structure of the project subfolder as possible. So we, you don't have to change anything right here. Just specify the name, uh, choose your location, and click Create. So once the project is created, uh, you can see right here that um, this is new subfolder that Visual Studio created, and this is the name uh, of my project. And inside, uh, I have these files which um, you should be able to see on your own computer. Um, and week 01 solution is the file that you have to open the next time you want to uh, continue to be working in this specific project. So the next step that I do is to say uh, view solution explorer. So solution explorer is essentially telling you what is the configuration of your project. 
Uh, it's a hierarchical structure. I'll give you some ideas about these options. Um, so you can include in on, on the list of this very basic project under Microsoft Visual Studio um, a list of your header files so that you can have some additional features added to your navigation options within your uh, project. We're not going to use this feature. Resource files could be added to your project such as uh, for example, uh, icon images or some other bitmap images that could be compiled directly into your executable program so that uh, when the program starts, these images uh, are, are instantly loaded into memory together with the, uh, with the program. Uh, so we're also not going to use any of these resources. The only place that we're going to use is going to be the source files. Um, each um, um, standard uh, C and C++ program would have to uh, have a main function which is the public entry point into the application so here I'm going to right click and say add new item right right click on source files add new item which brings this dialog box into the view and these are the types of files that you could be uh, creating i am my choice is going to be a c++ file uh, with extension .cpp. Um, and then um, there are two um, entry boxes uh, which i will uh, change here the source .cpp i will change to main .cpp so this way this file main .cpp is easy for me to recognize and I will know that this file will contain the main function or main entry point into this program when the program starts executing. It also prompts to, for the location of our uh, directory structure right here, uh, thinking that this is the place where you want to create this file. However, I strongly advise that you create a subfolder which will contain all the source files that you want to include in your uh, project. So uh, you just simply uh, add, uh, I have this tendency to add source subfolder and it will be automatically created if it doesn't exist. So just to show you, this is my Windows Explorer where I'm trying to add this uh, specific type of file named main.cpp and when I click add you should be able to notice that it just created the source subfolder and under there there's this new file. This new file also appears on the list of source files. Um, so now this file is included in our project and we should be able to write our code and uh, be able to compile it. Uh, typically, I just close the windows that I'm not using. This is Solution Explorer that allows us to uh, configure everything we have uh, in this project. But since we only need this file, I'm just simply going to close it. If you want to bring it back, you just click View Solution Explorer. So here's my main file and we will uh, create our first program after we start with our first presentation uh, program in memory.